This is Shannon Whitley of Server Explorer and welcome to getting started with your Server Explorer personal server. So we're looking at the desktop of our brand new server. We've just logged in as the administrator and we're going to run a few cleanup procedures first. We have a script that will change the password on our mail server and our MySQL server. Now this script can be run only once, but we'll go ahead and double click it now to get it started. And once that script starts, we'll go ahead and enter our new password for the mail server and the MySQL server. When the script completes, we'll go ahead and delete the script from the desktop since we won't use it again. The next script that we're going to run will set up .NET Panel, which is your server portal that will allow you to manage your websites including FTP, your databases, and your mailboxes. So this script will take a while to run. You'll notice along the way that you'll see some progress indicators popping up along and you'll be able to follow the progress of the installation. Go ahead and just allow the script to run. It may take a little bit. When the script completes, press any key to continue and the dialog box will close. Now the .NET panel is configured, just double click on the icon on your desktop, log in with server admin and password as the password. And of course you'll want to change that after you log in. You'll then be logged into .NET panel and you'll be able to start configuring your server. One really nice feature of the .NET panel is the application gallery. It allows you to install any number of applications directly from .NET panel. Now that you've completed the initial setup tasks, you're ready to go with your new server. If you have any questions, be sure to visit the forums at serverexplorer.com.